Hello everybody, in this session we're going to talk about how to set up the RTK base unit uh, and connect it to the M210 uh, RTK drone. So uh, as you can see I've got a tripod set up. Uh, my tripod is set up over top of a known point. So you can see here I've got a point in the ground. I've surveyed this location so that pin in the ground has an X, Y, and Z uh, coordinate associated with it. This is the optimal solution for using your R2, R2, or sorry, RTK. You can set up your base station wherever you like. It doesn't have to be on a known point, but if you want the utmost accuracy on your corrections, uh, you should set up on a known coordinate or a known point. So it, it, that could be a base point, uh, an, uh, a survey control marker, or some other point that you've surveyed in the ground. Uh, as long as you've got a coordinate with it, you're good to go. So I've set up my tripod. I've got it leveled. I've got all my uh, legs positioned into the ground and stamped in. What I'm going to need next to connect my base is what's called a tribrock. So my tribrock looks something like this. They're a very standard survey type unit. And what we're going to do is we're going to attach this onto our top of our tripod. So you can see there's a little hole in the bottom there and I've got a little uh, screw here that I'm going to screw in there. So I'll tighten that in. Uh, and this thing has a level bubble in it. So what we want to do is make sure that it's level and I've leveled this up already. Uh, there's another uh, video on how to level a tripod. Uh, I also want to look through this eyepiece and make sure that my crosshairs are directly on top of my known point. That's my pin in the ground and everything looks good there. So I think I'm ready to set up my base. So once you've got everything leveled, you're set up over your point. Then what we're going to do is we're going to grab this little adapter. So this is a special adapter that we had made so we can set up the RTK base on any conventional tripod. So you can see there's two threads, an inside and an outside thread. The inside thread goes onto the tribrack. So I'm going to screw that on there like this. Tighten that in there, not too tight. You don't want to crank it on there. You'll never get it off. It's very sticky. So just get it on there snug. Then we can pull out our base unit and you can see we've got an inner thread here we're gonna tighten that on to the male end there so tighten that on best you can my tri is still a little loose I'm just gonna make sure I'm over top of my pin and then tighten that guy in there make sure that's nice and snug and then uh, we're good to go. I'll just turn this so we can see it. And now I'm ready to power everything on. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna press this middle button once, short, twice, long, that'll turn it on. Same with the drone, turn those two on. This is gonna take a couple of seconds, probably maybe like more like a couple of minutes to acquire a fix. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna run through a quick calibration and then it's going to search for satellites and once it's acquired more than six satellites, then we're ready to go. But we're going to have to wait a few minutes for it to uh, uh, acquire a position and to lock on to the number of satellites that it needs. Okay, so I think we've uh, got a fix now. As you can see here, uh, I want to take a look at these lights. So first of all, I take a look at the middle light. Uh, that should be a solid green. Okay, so what we want is a solid green. That means it's acquired enough satellites that we can proceed forward. If it's yellow, that means it's still trying to uh, find some satellites to lock onto or it doesn't have enough. So just give it a few minutes. Uh, if after a couple minutes it still is showing yellow in that middle button, move your. you might have to move your base somewhere else because you're not getting enough uh, exposure to the sky. Okay, so uh, try moving it. Uh, the second thing I want to take a look at on this uh, RTK unit is the light to the far right. That should be blinking four times. One, two, three, four. And when it's blinking four times, we know that it's uh, acting as a base unit for the M210. There's five different settings you can have, but make sure it's blinking one, two, three, four times, and then you're good to go. The second thing you want to take a look at is the light over on the far left. If it's solid green, that means you're linked up with your uh, M210. And uh, it should automatically link up, but if it's showing blinking red, then what you'll have to do is you'll have to link it up manually. So if it's not lit up at all, for if it's blinking red, you're gonna press the far left button one time, short press, press 
really quick and then you're going to come down to the back of the matrice open up this back panel there's a little green light there you're going to hold that green little button for about two seconds and it'll start alternating red and green lights meaning that it's in link mode so once it's in link mode it'll link up and when it's green solid green here that means we've got a link now what you want to take a look at to make sure you're receiving corrections on your drone is that you've got it should blink alternate green and blue green and blue means that you're acquiring corrections from the drone once you've got green and blue now we're, we should be almost ready to get up in the air and fly okay and now we'll go back to the uh, base unit now if you recall I said that we were set up over this known point so what I have to do the antenna uh, for this receiver is about right here somewhere so that's where it's receiving the corrections so what I want to do is I want to accurately measure uh, how close that altitude or that uh, elevation is so I know the X and Y coordinate of that point but what I want to do now is determine the distance from that point all the way up to the receiver because that's where it's that's where it's uh, uh, locking on to those satellites that's where it's receiving the corrections so what I'm going to do is I'm going to need a tape measure any tape measure will do doesn't matter what you what you have uh, in the tri brac box there's just a standard tape measure so what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure from the bottom to the top and what I want to do is I want to measure to the bottom of the base of my tripod so that's going to be right to this guy right about there and it looks like I'm about uh, 197 centimeters so I'm at 197 centimeters from the bottom to the top okay so I'm gonna make a note of that 197 centimeters and I'm gonna to have to input that information onto my base now this is what you're gonna to have to think about so the elevation of this point here is at uh, I think 1108 meters above sea level that's the elevation right at this point so what I want to do is I want to take that 1108 meters add in my 192 centimeters up to this point there okay so 1108 plus 190 or sorry 197 up to that point there the distance from this point to my base is 141.9 millimeters so all in all I want to add in 1108 plus 197 up to here plus 141.9 millimeters to get me to the bottom of the base and that'll be my elevation that's what I'll input on the DJI drone to uh, uh, input my XY and my correct elevation so let's go take a look at uh, what we can set those uh, uh, ground coordinate point on DJI pilot okay so I'm in my DJI pilot app I'm connected to my drone I'm receiving corrections from the base now what I want to do is I want to input the base coordinates uh, into the pilot app. So I'm going to go into manual flight first. And uh, from here what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the RTK page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel this. And I'm going to click my little RTK icon at the top here. So that's this guy here. That will bring up my RTK page. And what I want to make sure is that RTK positioning is on. And my service type is set to my mobile station, which it is. And you'll notice in green it says RTK connected. RTK data in use. That means we're ready to go. So uh, the other thing you may see here is may say RTK data converging and what that means if you get a data converging message that means uh, wait a minute it's going to uh, find a fix pretty quick and uh, if it remains on data converging then you should probably think about moving your antenna somewhere else so I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom on my page and you'll notice I have advanced settings and in advanced settings this is where I can put in the coordinates for my my uh, base point so I'm going to click advanced settings and there's where uh, it thinks it is right now at the moment but what I'm going to do I'm going to hard code uh, my position of my point and my antenna height into adjust coordinates so I'm going to come in here and I'm going to simply input the longitude in which I surveyed my point so in my case I've got uh, uh, 100 and negative 114 degrees longitude 0.113835 
and, and then I'm going to input my latitudes. So my northing values will be uh, 114, or sorry, 51 degrees latitude, uh, 0.14. Six four three seven. So these have to be in decimal degrees, uh, latitudes and longitudes. There's no other way around it. And now my base point. So as you recall, we did some math to determine the actual height of the base antenna, and we determined that to be a hundred or sorry, uh, eleven hundred and ten meters. Point one one two meters above sea level. Oops. 0.112 done and now I'm going to say okay so if you're if you have a, a base point that you're set up all the time maybe you've got a, a control marker or something that you set up uh, often then you can save this as a frequent coordinate and just set up your base and then uh, you'll probably have to adjust the uh, the elevation of your base point every time because that's going to change every time you set up but uh, you can save those as frequent coordinates and at least use the Latin Latin longs uh, over again so I'm going to say okay make sure you click okay to confirm that and that'll update my coordinates now those are the ones that I'm on and now I'm ready to fly so I should be receiving corrections the base point is looking at this coordinate here and determining that that's the correct position it's at transmitting corrections to my uh, my drone and uh, I should get uh, some fairly accurate photographs uh, when I'm finished thanks for watching everybody bye